What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Critical Fumble. This time we're looking at... Oh wait, I don't know what game. Danny, what game is it? Uh, it's called Panic. It's a game that was released for the Mega CD. Um, okay. It's pretty terrible. Okay. So let, let's just watch and enjoy. Okay. You're, you're, in for, you're in for a treat. I could have sworn I saw Sonic though, man. Are you sure? No. That's Sonic? No, it's not. It's just the Sega logo. This Sonic part of the Sega logo. Well, he was then. Gas. Yep. That's just the start of things to come. That was amazing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Cool jazzy intro. I let the intro play because it's just it's a thing. What? I let this play all the, all the way through. It's a bit pointless, but I don't. I think it sets the tone for the game very nicely. Okay, so it's, it's depicting multiple vehicles not working correctly. That's good. Yeah. Is that, is You're that on the right the... track. Okay, so things not working properly is, is the theme of the game. Yes. Or vehicles not working properly. Not necessarily. Not necessarily vehicles. Machinery? Machinery. Okay. You deducted more, more, more from that than I did, so... <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> it's just like, why are these robots dancing? <laughs> no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. <laughs> what? That's how you know they're broken. <laughs> robots can't be indecisive by nature. What, what the fuck? Why is that chicken got a pouch? Because it's a robot. Chicken? That, that thing got like, six nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, I'm turning this up, this, this, uh, this sounds amazing. <laughs> the washing machine just throws up. Okay. The vending machine just explodes and goes into space. The phone booth just makes people fall. Are, are you deducing anything else from this? Not, nothing else. Because it's... <laughs> no, you're missing the entire premise of the game. Just things not working properly. Oh, that's okay. That's kind of the premise, but you're missing the gameplay. Okay. I skip this because. Oh, machines. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And there, we, there we go. Panic. Okay. So I'm like, do I play as as Data One? So yeah. each each save file is a different character. No, probably not. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Are you ready? So you're in the TV now. Yep. And you got a button with four dots. Find the buttons that will lead you to the computer network server. What? Yeah. Top left. Top left. Go top left. I try clicking his eye. It doesn't work. <laughs> so, I go, so I go bottom left. Okay. See how that works, mate. Don't think this is the computer server network, man. No, well, there's many more buttons to press. Don't worry. What don't, the fuck? don't, don't you worry. Was that on the Hoover? The, that button that you just. What? Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> that, wa that wasn't the right button. Bad. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that wasn't the right button. <laughs> so, like this one, maybe? It's gonna, it's gonna ease everything. And there's a bit of a CD. Yeah, it eats everything. <sighs> it ate the fireplace. It ate the fireplace. Oh my god. Yeah. Did it just eat the world? Yes. But here's the twist, right? So, that took you to the server network. I think so. What? I know. So I'm like, okay, I'll press the red button. Why not? Turn it off. No. Oh no. Teleports me away. Oh. Okay. What the fuck? Now I've got an umbrella, and there's many buttons to press on this umbrella. That was the wrong button, Danny. Are you sure? I'm sure. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> the wrong button. What if I wanted that to happen though? What's going on? He's jiggling. <laughs> Have you realised that this is the entire game? There is a game based around pressing buttons. Is that... This is I... the game. I think I'm okay with that. This, this looks amazing. HTC. Hot, <laughs> tepid and cold. I guess so. So I'm going for tepid. I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> That is my favourite one! 
So I'm like, hot, okay, this this will only end well. Oh. <laughs> it was a bit too hot. What did the other buttons do? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Be free. What? Oh, that teleport to me? To the next place? I think the sounds are the best part of this game. Mm -hmm. Look how many buttons are awesome. Oh no. So I'm like, okay, that button will be pressed. Oh man, this is trippy. It gets worse. Are all the sound effects made by a guy? I think so. Like, just making silly noises. He looks happy about that. Yeah, I've still got to press another button though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Done with that. Yeah. This part drags on for ages because nothing fun happens. It's just like, okay. Oh, this this one's good. Dragon. Yeah. As you do. I don't see why pressing a button would make the dragon hatch. Okay. I'm not sure why that's a thing. Ah, oh, what? Yeah. More lights. Loads of fish. Yeah. This would be really cool if this ever happened, but it's never gonna happen. Nah. If machines malfun- Yeah. If machines malfunctioned, I think this would be one of the things that I hoped happened. Because Yeah, it's... definitely not Skynet. No, no Skynet, just- just light bulbs. Making fish yeah. shapes. It'd be nice and- nice and relaxing. Yeah. What the fuck? I wanna play this game on acid. <laughs> I think I think that would be good. You'd cry. You'd just be like, where am I? <laughs> so many buttons! <laughs> <laughs> right, so at this point I'm getting pretty bored of this one, so I'm just like, alright, it better be this button. And it is! Woo! So, what are you trying to do? I wish I knew. I think we're trying to find the... I know! I like it when I guess right, but then I think, what if something really good happened? Yeah, you probably miss so many amazing things. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'll press the one that looks like a like a cow. I think that look more like Satan. Satan bend it over. Uh, it looked like a cow with um, with a scarf on. <laughs> I guess so. Or a beard. Yeah. What the fuck? Look how shocked he looks. <laughs> Oh, the new bit, like, why Why are there clouds, and why are the ducks flying in my living room? I think, I think I'd have been desensitised already by the crew flight bombs and the hoover that ate the world. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe the twist at the end is that this guy was just on acid. Maybe. Did you ever get to the Oh my god, what? <laughs> this is definitely a metaphor for something. What the fuck? Ah. It gets good. It gets good. Are you ready? For, are you ready for this? Sam? Are you ready? Oh no, it's not this one. It's the next one. Okay. <laughs> Things like rain and almond though. Yeah. Who's this made by? Uh, Sega. Like it's developed oh, yeah, by of Sega. Oh yeah, I saw the Sega thing. It's not like it's not like it's just been published by Sega. It has been developed by Sega. Sega made this. Yeah. But well, you ready for this? Oh god, that one's the next one. It's not this one. No. Dolphin! Wow, that was a big dolphin. Yeah, it was. It also went through the wall. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm, I'm re I think I'm ready. <laughs> I want to a gift an arm and a leg to live in a room. They let me keep the leg so I could wear this cool dress. <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> I would give an arm oh, oh, no, like to live in Hawaii. They let me keep the leg so I could wear this cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then it's just it, it just goes straight back to the place like nothing happened, and it's like yep, that, <laughs> that was a thing that happened. People were expected to pay money to play this game. So. I don't. Is this? Is this considered a game? Pressing buttons. It's about. 
it's, it's, a, it's as much a game as like. Okay. Okay. Attention. A mutant has been spotted. Approach with caution and plenty of Kleenex. Oh my god, what? I know. Approach with caution and plenty of Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This was in the good old days of Sega. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, oh. Back, I'm back here now. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna press the red button, I'll press this. Oh, I thought that literally just stopped the game then. No. What? Uh, they turn into butterflies and fly away. What? Mm. So I'm like, okay, I'll move on. I'll go. go back to the same place? Yeah. Oh, okay. There is some kind of continuity to it then. Yeah, there is, but it, it gets annoying. <laughs> what? So at this point, I'm just like, I can't remember which button I pressed to move on. I think it was the red one. Yeah, but I'm just like, no, okay. I'm gonna spell out no with my cursor. <laughs> and, uh, and that'll do me. I think I've seen enough. That, that was... That was an experience. <laughs> there is no way that anybody in a sober or sane state of mind could create this game. I know. I don't... Und it's weird because they made it for the Mega CD. And then they brought it out in Japan on the PlayStation 2 as well. So like someone paid PlayStation money. PlayStation 2. Yeah, someone someone paid money to um to release it for the PlayStation 2 like years after the fact. This game like had a remake or a port. I reckon release. the Japanese really enjoyed that game though. But what was the deal with the with the woman with the thing and the, the approach with caution and plenty of Kleenex? What what, what does that mean? <laughs> what is being implied by that? I don't get it. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna watch that video every day. <laughs> oh, it was good. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll, we'll leave that one though. Yeah, that that was... <laughs> I think that's changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright, well, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 I'll have put it by now. It's fine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>